इंट्रोडक्शन डोंट स्क्रब अंकुश लेट मी स्टडी वट आर यू स्टडिंग आई एम डूइंग माई होमवर्क ऑफ केमिस्ट्री यू आर डूइंग रॉन्ग वॉट आर यू डूइंग नाउ दिस इज करेक्ट नो दिस इज डबल बॉन्ड एंड दिस इज एन एल्किन टीचर हैज टॉट अस अबाउट सिंगल बॉन्ड एंड एल्किस बट शी डिड नॉट टीच एल्किस वट आर दे Alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons and so are alkynes. Come I'll tell you in detail about alkenes and alkynes. Objectives. At the end of this lesson you will be able to explain alkenes and alkynes. Name alkenes and alkynes according to IUPAC system of nomenclature. recognize and write structures of isomers of alkenes and alkynes learn methods to prepare alkenes and alkynes write the physical and chemical properties of alkenes and alkynes alkenes alkenes are class of hydrocarbons which contain only carbon and hydrogen two other terms which describe alkenes are unsaturated and olefins unsaturated hydrocarbons contain either double or triple bonds since the compound is unsaturated with respect to hydrogen atoms the extra electrons are shared between two carbon atoms forming double bonds in alkenes alkenes are also called olefins because they form oily liquids on reaction with chlorine gas these are the compounds of ethene or ethylene and pentene structure of double bond the chemical bonding in alkenes can be illustrated by reference to the simplest alkene ethene ethene is not a very complicated molecule it contains two carbon atoms that are double bonded to each other with each of these atoms also bonded to two hydrogen atoms this forms a total of three bonds to each carbon atom giving them an sp2 hybridization since the carbon atom is forming three sigma bonds instead of the four that it can it only needs to hybridize three of its outer orbitals instead of four it does this by using the 2s electron and two of the 2p electrons leaving the other unchanged this new orbital is called an sp2 hybrid because that's exactly what it is it is made from 1s orbital and 2p orbitals when atoms are an sp2 hybrid they have a trigonal planar structure these structures are very similar to a p sign there is a central atom with three atoms around it all on one plane trigonal planar molecules have an ideal bond angle of 120 degree on each side the hch bond angle is 117 degree which is very close to the ideal 120 degree of a carbon with sp2 hybridization the other two angles hcc are both 121.5 degrees nomenclature of alkenes step 1 find the longest continuous chain that includes the double bond step 2 use the ending end to indicate the presence of carbon carbon step 3 number of the chain so that the first carbon of the carbon carbon reached has the lowest possible number step 4 name and number substituents in the same fashion as in alkanes this is 1 butene and these are 2 methyl 2 butene and 3 methyl 1 butene step 5 the alkene functional group takes precedence over alkyl and halide functional groups step 6 The alcohol functional group takes precedence over the alkene functional group. 4 bromo 3 methyl 1 butene. Nomenclature of alkenes part 2. Step 7. Hydroxyl groups takes precedence over the double bond when the chain is numbered. This compound is 2 methyl 3 butane 1 all. Step 8. If more than one double bond is present indicate their position by using the number of the first carbon of each double bond and use the suffix diene for two double bonds triene for three double bonds tetraene 
for four double bonds, etc. For example, one for pentadiene. Step nine: Cycloalkenes are named in a similar way. Number the cycloalkene. So the double bond carbons get numbers one and two, and the first substituent is the lowest possible number. If there is a substituent on one of the double bond carbon, it gets number one. Six ethyl one methyl cyclohexene. Look at this compound. It is named as one five dimethyl cyclopentene and not two three dimethyl cyclopentene. Isomerism. Structural isomerism. All the alkenes with four or more carbon atoms in them show structural isomerism. This means that there are two or more different structural formulae that you can draw for each molecular formula. For example, with C4H8, it isn't too difficult to come up with these three structural isomers. There is, however, another isomer. Bute-2-ene also exhibits geometric isomerism. Geometric cis-trans isomerism. The carbon-carbon double bond doesn't allow any rotation about it. That means that it is possible to have the CH3 groups on either end of the molecule locked either on one side of the molecule or opposite each other. These are called cis-bute-2-ene, where the groups are on the same side, or trans-bute-2-ene, where they are on the opposite sides. Cis-bute-2-ene is also known as Z-bute-2-ene. Trans-bute-2-ene is also known as E-bute-2-ene. Preparation of alkenes part 1 Alkenes are generally prepared through beta elimination reactions in which two atoms on adjacent carbon atoms are removed, resulting in the formation of a double bond. Alkenes are usually prepared from either alcohols or haloalkanes, alkyl halides, by the dehydration of alcohols. In dehydration reactions, a molecule of water is eliminated from an alcohol molecule by heating the alcohol in the presence of a strong mineral acid. A double bond forms between the adjacent carbon atoms that lost the hydrogen ion and hydroxide group. From haloalkanes or alkyl halides, Alkenes can be obtained from haloalkanes, alkyl halides. These haloalkanes are usually bromo and iodo and less commonly chloro derivatives. Preparation of alkenes part 2 By dehydrogenation of haloalkanes. Haloalkanes on heating with alcoholic potash loses one molecule of hydrogen halide to give alkene. Bromoethane gives ethane. Dehalogenation Vicinal dihalides, which are alkane molecules that contain two halogen atoms on adjacent carbon atoms, can form alkenes upon reaction with zinc. From alkynes Alkenes can be easily obtained by hydrogenation of alkynes. An alkyne on controlled hydrogenation with hydrogen in the presence of NIRPD at 200 degrees centigrade gives corresponding alkene. Ethine gives ethene on hydrogenation. Physical properties of alkenes. Physical state. Alkenes can exist in all the three physical states, gases, liquids and solids at room temperature. At room temperature, lower alkenes, first three alkenes are colorless gases, while next 14 members, those comprised of 5 to 15 carbon atoms, are colorless liquids. The higher alkenes are colorless solids. Except ethene, all other alkenes are colorless and odorless. Ethene has a faint sweet smell. Because of non-polar nature of alkenes, they are insoluble in water, but soluble in non-polar solvents like benzene, carbon tetrachloride and petroleum ether etc. Density Alkenes have densities less than 1 gram per milliliter and are therefore less dense than water. Hence, form separate layer above water. As the molecular mass of alkenes increases, density increases. Boiling points of alkenes. In liquid state, molecules are packed closely together with weak intermolecular force of attraction. Hence, can be moved randomly in system. When we supply heat to the liquid, 
temperature of system increases, which contributes in the increment in kinetic energy of molecules. Hence, the molecule motion increases and the forces of attraction between the molecules decreases at high temperature. Just like boiling point, melting points of alkenes also increase with an increase in the molecular mass. Chemical Properties of Alkenes Part 1 Alkenes are more reactive than alkanes due to the presence of a double bond. The carbon-carbon double bond consists of a strong bond and a weak P bond. Addition Reactions The P electrons of the carbon-carbon double bond are available to an electrophile, any species seeking electrons. Thus, the addition reactions shown by alkenes are in fact electrophilic addition reactions. Addition of Hydrogen Alkenes add hydrogen in the presence of platinum or nickel catalyst to form alkanes. The reaction termed as hydrogenation is an exothermic reaction. Addition of halogens. Alkenes react with halogens to form dihaloalkanes. The order of reactivity is chlorine is greater than bromine is greater than iodine. Simply mixing together the two reactants usually in an inert solvent like carbon tetrachloride best carries out the reaction. Addition of halogen acids. Alkenes with concentrated aqueous solution of halogen acids give haloalkanes. The order of reactivity is HI is greater than HBr is greater than HCl. In asymmetrical alkenes, the addition of a halogen acid takes place in a manner whereby the halogen atom, the negative part of the molecule to be added, adds to the carbon atom, which has lesser number of hydrogen atoms on it. For example, in the case of propene, the product obtained is 2 iodopropane and not 1 iodopropane. This rule of addition of halogen acids to an asymmetrical alkene is known as Markonikov's rule. Chemical Properties of Alkenes Part 2 Addition of Sulfuric Acid In accordance to Markonikov's rule, alkenes readily add concentrated sulfuric acid to form alkyl hydrogen sulfates. For example, ethene react with ethane sulfuric acid to give ethyl hydrogen sulfate. Addition of water, hydration of alkenes. Water molecules add to an alkene molecule across the double bond in the presence of dilute acid and a catalyst. For example, ethane gives ethanol when a mixture of ethene and steam is passed over phosphoric acid and silica under a pressure 65 atmosphere and at 300 degrees centigrade. Addition of ozone. Ozonides are formed when alkenes add a molecule of ozone across the double bond. For example, ethene gives ethene ozonide. Polymerization. Addition polymerization is a process by which a large number of molecules of the same species join together without the elimination of simple molecules like HX, H2O, etc. to form a giant molecule called a polymer. Alkenes undergo addition polymerization when heated under pressure in the presence of suitable catalysts. When ethene is heated to 1000 degrees centigrade under 1000 atmospheric pressure in presence of oxygen, we get polyethene. Alkynes Alkynes are hydrocarbons which contain a triple carbon-carbon bond. As with alkenes, the simplest member of the series is two carbon molecule. The triple bond is indicated by changing the ending of the name to ein, in the same manner as the double bonds in alkenes are indicated by the ending en. Alkynes like alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons with the general formula CnH2n-2. They are very unstable and quite reactive. For example, ethane, the simplest alkyne, which is more commonly known by its common name acetylene, is a gas often used as a fuel for cutting and welding torches because it burns with a very hot flame. Naming alkynes In IUPAC system, the alkynes are named as derivatives of alkanes. The suffix "-ane", is replaced with "-ein", in the alkane name. For example, the given compound has three carbon atoms and hence the root name is propane. If the suffix "-ane", is replaced with "-ein", we will get the IUPAC name of the compound as propine. If there is a substitute in the chain, 
The longest chain is selected in such a way that the chain contains the triple bond. Similarly, the chain is numbered in such a way that the carbon containing the triple bond gets the least number. For example, the given compound contains 5 carbon atoms in the longest chain, hence it is named as pentine. It is named from the right to left so that the carbon containing triple bond gets the number 1. There is one substitute methyl group at third carbon atom. Hence, the name of the compound is 3-methyl-1-pentine. Structures of alkynes In the structure of alkynes, the carbon atom undergoes sp hybridization. The outermost electronic configuration of carbon is 2s2-2p2. In the excited state, one electron from 2s orbital is excited to 2p. Hence, the electronic configuration in the excited state is 2s1, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. Here, the carbon undergoes sp hybridization to give two sp hybridized orbitals with linear shape and with bond angle as 180 degrees. One of the sp hybridized orbitals is connected with other carbon and other is connected with hydrogen. Hence, the structure of acetylene molecule is linear. Isomerism Chain isomers Compounds having same molecular formula with different in carbon chain pattern like linear or branch are called chain isomers. One pentine is chain isomer of 3-methylbutyne. Position isomers Compounds having same molecular formula with difference in position of the functional group are called as position isomers. One butyne and two butyne are position isomers. Functional group isomers. Compounds having same molecular formula with difference in nature of functional group are called as functional group isomers. Alkynes are functional group isomers for cycloalkenes. For example, pentine and cyclopentene are functional group isomers. Geometrical isomers. The bond between carbon atoms in alkyne is rigid and cannot be rotated. Hence, there should be possibility of geometrical isomers. But the orientation of atoms cannot be determined. Hence, there is no possibility of geometrical isomerism in alkynes. Preparation of alkynes The preparations of alkynes are very similar to those of the alkenes. The main preparative reactions involve the elimination of groups or ions from molecules, resulting in the formation of pi bonds. Dehydrohalogenation The loss of an hydrogen atom and a halogen atom from adjacent alkene carbon atom leads to the formation of an alkene. The loss of the additional hydrogen and halogen atoms from the double bonded carbon atoms leads to the alkyne formation. The halogen atoms may be located on the same carbon, a geminal dihalide, or on adjacent carbons, a vicinal dihalide. During the second dehydrohalogenation step, certain conditions are necessary, namely high temperatures and an extremely strong basic solution. Dehalogenation Vicinal tetrahaloalkanes can be dehalogenated with zinc metal in an organometallic reaction to form alkynes. Substitution Larger alkynes can be generated by reacting an alkyl halide with an acetylide ion, which is generated from a shorter alkyne. Ethyne acetylene preparation Ethyne, which is commonly called acetylene, is the simplest alkyne. Historically, it was prepared by reacting calcium carbide with water. Today, ethyne is normally prepared by the pyrolysis of methane. In this procedure, a stream of methane gas is briefly heated to 1500 degrees centigrade in an airless chamber. Air must be excluded from the reaction or oxidation combustion will occur. Physical properties of alkynes The physical properties of alkynes are very similar to those of the alkenes. Alkynes are generally non-polar molecules with little solubility in polar solvents such as water. Solubility in non-polar solvents such as ether and acetone is extensive. Like the alkanes and alkenes, alkynes of four or fewer carbon atoms tend to be gases. Substituted alkynes have small dipole movements due to differences in electronegativity between the triple bonded carbon atoms, which are 
sp hybridized and the single bonded carbon atoms which are sp3 hybridized the sp hybridized carbon atom which possesses more s character than the sp3 hybridized carbon atom is more electronegative in character the resulting asymmetrical electron distribution in the bond between such carbon atoms results in the generation of a dipole moment chemical properties of alkynes combustion alkynes burns in air or oxygen with smoky flame addition of hydrogen an alkyne reacts with hydrogen in the presence of catalyst pt or ni at 250 degree centigrade first forming alkenes and finally alkanes addition of halogens alkynes react with halogens cl2 or br2 in the dark forming dihaloalkenes first and finally tetrahaloalkenes the reaction gets accelerated in the presence of light or halogen carriers addition of water in the presence of sulfuric acid 42% and 1% mercuric sulfate at 60 degree centigrade alkynes add on one water molecule to give aldehydes or ketones for example ethane gives ethanol and propyne gives acetone polymerization on heating alkynes undergo polymerization in the presence of catalyst the nature of products depends upon the conditions for example when ethane acetylene is passed through a hot copper tube it polymerizes to benzene when passed through a solution of cuprous chloride in ammonium chloride ethane undergoes linear polymerization did you know Makhonikov's rule was formulated by the Russian chemist Vladimir Vasilevich Makhonikov in 1870. Mechanisms that avoid the carbocation intermediate may react through other mechanisms that are regioselective against what Makhonikov's rule predicts, such as free radical addition. Such reactions are said to be anti-Makhonikov since the halogen adds to the less substituted carbon exactly the opposite of makhonikov reaction again like the positive charge the radical is most stable when in the more substituted position summary let us summarize what we have learned alkenes are class of hydrocarbons which contain only carbon and hydrogen Two other terms which describe alkenes are unsaturated and olefins. Unsaturated hydrocarbons contain either double or triple bonds. Alkynes like alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons with the general formula CnH2n-2. They are very unstable and quite reactive. Alkenes and alkynes undergo addition reactions which are mainly electrophilic additions. Alkenes exhibit geometrical cis-trans isomerism due to restricted rotation around the carbon-carbon double bond.